Hi, I'm Charlene Parham, Area Superintendent, reside over the Geyer Zone that serves our families and students. I am thrilled and honored today to come before you to present the Wildcat Way and honor our very own Teachers of the Year. Marcy Kirby, Adkins Elementary School. Marcy Kirby is completing her 27th year in the district and her eighth year teaching K-5 special education at Atkins Elementary. In 2014, Ms. Kirby transitioned from second grade teacher to special education teacher after spending 19 years in the general education classroom. It was a decision she was nervous about. However, looking back on it today, it's a decision she is very glad to have made as each day in her classroom seeing her students' growth and confidence is all the reward she needs. Lynette Jones, Blanton Elementary. Lynette Jones is in her ninth year at Blanton Elementary as a speech pathologist. She spent all of her 22 years in the profession providing speech therapy services to students of all ages. When the pandemic began, providing speech pathology services presented many challenges. Now she says the silver lining is that many of the skills and materials acquired during the pivot to online learning has proven very successful and useful for student growth today. Angela Jeffcoat, E.P. Razor Elementary School. Angie Jeffcoat is a veteran educator with 27 years of teaching experience. The last five years working in Denton ISD as the Expo or Gifted and Talented Specialist in grades first through fifth at E.P. Razor. Ms. Jeffcoat lives by one mantra. To capture a student's brain in the classroom, you must first capture their heart. As a GT teacher, she knows the value of risk-taking to grow. She works tirelessly to instill this belief in every one of her students daily. Marty Blair, Hawk Elementary School. Marty Blair is in her 21st year in teaching and the 17th as a math and science teacher at Hawk Elementary. She emphasizes inquiry-based learning strategies in her classroom to foster an environment of engagement and discovery with her students. Ms. Blair is also very involved in her community, leading donation drives, serving with multiple PTA organizations as a member of the UNT Parent Association and her local church. Rebecca Sprayberry, McNair Elementary. Rebecca Sprayberry is in her 11th year as an educator at McNair Elementary. Collaboration is the key to success in Ms. Sprayberry's classroom. The workshop models she practices allows students to share their ideas, not only with her, but with each other, allowing them to take ownership of their learning and developing a deeper sense of responsibility for their work in school. Jennifer Young, Nelson Elementary. Jennifer Young is in her 16th year as a music teacher in Denton ISD with all of those years spent at Nelson Elementary. Over the years, Miss Young has learned her job is more than just teaching music. Her success hinges on seeing her students for who they are and where they are. She allows her students to go with the flow not just musically, but in everyday practice and allows the direction in her classroom on a given day to shift, fitting her students' needs for that day. Martha Evans Young, Crown River Middle School. Martha Evans Young is in her 37th and final year of education as she is retiring at years in. Her entire teaching and coaching career has been spent in Denton ISD, first as PE teacher and girls athletic coordinator at Calhoun Middle School then the last 20 years as head track and cross country coach and campus athletic coordinator at Crown River Middle School. Making connections is the key for Ms. Evans Young. You may find her at her students' non-school related extracurricular events on the weekend or developing challenges to keep kids moving and striving for active and healthy lifestyles with their parents at home. Stephanie Hall, Harpool Middle School. Stephanie Hall joined Denton ISD 14 years ago and is currently in her 20th year as an educator. The knowledge her students gain in the classroom is important, but for Ms. Hall, embracing the human emotional connection with her students is what she is most proud of as a teacher. She feels her philosophy as a teacher can be summed up in a single word, connect. Bethany Weston, Denton ISD K-8 Virtual Academy. Bethany Weston is in her sixth year in Denton ISD. This is her first year teaching sixth, seventh, and eighth grade English language arts and reading for the K-8 Virtual Academy. Ms. Weston has become adept at teaching online environment. She possesses a unique ability to connect with her students virtually. Recently, Ms. Weston gave a training session at the statewide annual conference on connecting with students virtually during the pandemic that received raving reviews. She leads in the classroom with high expectations, but a vulnerability that connects with her students daily. 
Katherine Gengo, Geyer High School. For the past 14 years, Kate Gengo has taught AP dual credit U.S. government at Geyer High School. Ms. Gengo brings a wealth of knowledge and experience to the staff at Geyer. She credits her childhood and being a self-described military brat for influencing her teaching style. In Ms. Gengo's class, students are individuals first. She feels it's important to honor and respect what each one of them brings to her classroom daily. Creating a classroom culture of respect and curiosity is her key to success at Geyer High School. I want to thank all of the teachers of the year in Denton ISD. It is an honor to stand before you to support and congratulate the teachers within the Geyer Zone for the service, dedication, and passion that you have provided to all of our students and families. We want to wish you the very best in your next adventures. Best wishes.